today you get to see what everybody does when they come to my candle class and my students are already here trying to make a candle as you can see but let me take you straight from what happens when we walk in to when we begin stay tuned So in the class today we have Oyin Lade Zainab Blessing Kimberly and Hefziba. I'm just giving them a briefing about what they're doing today, making use of only what they have before them. And Zainab and Oyinlade are already discussing what style of candles they're going to make. They're limited to the supplies they have only on the table. So it's quite a hustle. Hefziba and Kimberly are on their phones looking for candle ideas using pictures of desserts. So everyone is in work mode right now, running helter skelter left and right, trying to start up their candles, wicking their jazz. Just enjoy the day with us. Hey, I think I need to add more. This is too small. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, what 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 mode are you in? Very fast. So if you share this, that's small. You know what? Let me decide. I'm making a rainbow jacket. I'm making a lemon shake with cookies. I'm so excited to see what everybody is making. This is so exciting. Some people are making. Rainbow jack cakes, chocolate milkshake, and lemon milkshake. Some people don't even know what they're making. I mixed um, cappuccino brown and black together. So guys, you learned some today. <laughs> cappuccino brown and black to get chocolate drippy chocolate. Come on, yes. I want to lick it. <laughs> like. I'm making a coffee candle. So. I'm going to blend it in the bar. Make it very nice. Okay. I'm making chocolate pie for candle.
Hi everybody, my name is Oilade. These are my candles. So I'm going to explain each of them. This is a plain candle that I made out of love and bust of colors. You can see the top layer is pink and the bottom layer is blue. What I'm trying to get here is um, a mixture of two colors blending into each other to give a vibrant candle. This is a chocolate trifle. As you can see, the chocolate chips, the, the um, bottom layer, the bust of colors, like the brown color is so vibrant. You can see that it looks like a real chocolate. And this is a spooky candle. This is an Halloween candle. You can see the graveyard, RIP to the focus to my enemies. This is a cross. This is the graveyard. You can see the um, the the grave. The grave is buried into the ground, and the the cross is buried too. This is um, a cupcake. I made it in form of a cupcake candle. And this, oh my goodness, it is so good. You can see the sprinkles round the jar. You can't tell that this is a candle. I'm sure you'll think this is a milkshake, a chocolate chip cookie milkshake. You can see the definition of the cookie. It is so good. Like it looks so, so real. And then the bottom layer, which is a chocolate milkshake and the whipped cream on top. So guys, these are my candles and I hope you like them. Hi, my name is Kimberly and um, I'm here to show you my candles. Okay, today I made um, a very nice lemon sugar cream and cookies, basically, very nice. And then here we have um, a strawberry syrup, nice colors. And here we have our, our buttered cream popcorn. It's that vibrant yellow, that color that makes you just want to bite everything, you just see that color basically and then for here we have um, our oreos and um, crackers milkshake yes thank you thank you thank you thank you my name is herb ziba jones today i made a coffee cream candle with chocolate toppings and shavings i love the chocolate cadbury block in it i use cappuccino brown and a lot of black to achieve the brown because when I melted the cappuccino brown, it had a very light shade of brown, so I needed it to look very realistic like a chocolate. So I added the black, I checked, I added and checked till I got the exact chocolate color I wanted. The hint is in the checking. Spooky, spooky! This is a spooky candle made of um, blood drizzles that I made of red um, liquid dyes soy wax on top i tried making a brain i don't know if i'm moving too much so this is a brain on a cupcake and uh, the down part of it is um, red and black crumbs together so that's my candle vanilla milkshake with sprinkles everybody loves vanilla i got the sprinkles from flames and wax and uh, I melted the wax, poured and piped, and then added sprinkle. I feel like eating it, but I can't. It's so pretty. This is Zainab's jar cake. Unfortunately, I lost her clip, and I don't know how. This is her beautiful jar cake with wafers on top of it. It looks so good. And she really took her time to crumble each layer of this cake, whip each layer of the cream, it is well defined and then she topped it up with wafers to give it some more color besides the dull orange, purple and green. That's why she placed yellow wafer on top of it. And the next candle she made is her spooky candle. This is a spider I believe. She made the Oreos and then some gooey brown for the belly and the gray for the legs and the spider has eyes it is absolutely spooky i love it i love 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 it i can't wait to put it on fire oh yeah and she did make it 
in the form of a cupcake. Then she made a very basic candle, but then she did two layers, yellow and pink. Like I always say, there's always something about yellow and pink that just looks so creepsicle. It looks delicious. Those two colors together are absolutely beautiful. I love her plain candle. There's not much to it, but it is beautiful. Then she made the ice strawberry milk. As you can see, the ice cubes inside were made of gel. You can see that little red thing sitting in the middle. That's actually a strawberry sunk into the milk. I love, love, love it. You can see the ice cubes on the side. The ice cubes were made of gel and the strawberry milk itself was made of soy wax. This is absolutely beautiful. I think Zainab did a great job. Hello, my name is Blessing and I made this Oreo milkshake candle today. I achieved this brown drizzle in the jar by making my chocolate wax and dropping it on the sides of the jar before pouring in the whipped day's wax, the wax crumbs with the Oreo cookie and then the whipped top with wafer and chocolate chips. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I love the fact that you got to meet some of my students today. If you want to see more videos like this and what goes on in the production section during classes, then like this video, subscribe and let us know in the comment section what you think about everybody's candles. Everyone is actually eating right now and just chilled around. Well, I'm going to go and eat my food because I am famished. Guys, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Julia, what do they use to cut these pieces? Mm -hmm. Things. Marble. No. Crops. Crop. Okay.